One man, two live, third eye. It is a war going on with each and every one of us. And that war is that spirit is imprisoned inside of a carnal, fleshly being. It's a boundless force. And it is restricted inside of your body. You're supposed to go to high self or go to spirit for understanding or confirmation. You affirm externally, you confirm internally. Every day that your eyes are open, your spirit is dormant. Now, when you close your eyes, where your spirit is to leave through the ether. And this is how you're able to dream, how you're able to astral project and things like that. Second war I want to speak of, which is the war of the principalities, as people say. As humans, we call it the spiritual war. There are other things that exist that are not of spirit. They reign in different domains. They are also at war. In order for it to be balanced, it has to have an offset. And anything of an offset can have balance. They have always been at war since before my existence in this time and your existence in this lifetime. Some of these entities and other things like that can possess animals, they can possess insects. They not only are able to possess people, it's just that people have an untapped source of unlimited energy within them, which is spirit. We think about good or bad, it's a human thing. Some of these entities do not possess good or bad intentions. They are of an essence of its own. It is a self-thought, just here to do what it's supposed to do. To sum that up is an understanding of karma. Create good karma, you can create bad karma. Either way, you can create karma. The third war is man versus man. It's war been going on over countries, territories, land, all kind of things, family. From slavery, people's belief systems. War is way beyond us as flesh. To enjoy this experience to your best abilities as a spiritual being having a human experience. Make this heaven on earth. God has put us here to do certain things. Certain things we can't account for. Certain things we didn't want to do, but it was done. That is destiny. Whatever we choose to do with our fate is our free will. God's will will always be done. The greatest thing that we can do in this lifetime, have the biggest influence in nature. If you having the biggest influence somehow projects to the humans, then the gods and things like that, the deities, the demons and things of that nature, then so be it. Continue to elevate, continue to rise. The journey of righteousness and divine salvation is a journey that's traveled alone. You're going to be put up with things that no man can stand. Only God. There's no way you can do this alone. You need God. You're going to have to have spirit. You're going to have to have some kind of outer source.